All right, welcome back, everybody. Now, we had to do a little bit of cleanup last uh, video here, but now we're going to get into something new. And I, I know that uh, we have a pretty extensive list of things that we're going to add um, over here on the project page. However, uh, I've been working on something for another project that uh, I wanted to share with everybody, and I've already shared it a little bit. Uh, I, I put it up on GitHub here. And uh, I'm not 100% finished with it. I can't remember. I think it's, I think it's functional, but uh, it, it could use some cleanup. But I want to implement it, uh, or at least the concept of it. I may um, pick it apart a little bit uh, now that I've, I've had time to mess with it a little more. But uh, I think it's going to be a great uh, addition to our CMS. And we'll be able to use it a lot. Uh, and it's very simple. Uh, it'll take a little bit to get it put together first. But once it's in there, we'll be able to use it pretty much anywhere we want. And it's, it's pretty cool. So I, I want to take a second to explain what it is. Uh, I call it Save on Blur. Uh, I, I was going to call it Auto Save, but that's not actually what it's doing. It's, it's close. But uh, in uh, jQuery terms, or I think JavaScript in general, but uh, mainly jQuery, the term blur is considered the opposite of focus. Uh, it can be a little confusing when you first start learning about it because it sounds more like a, an effect that would happen to something, but it's actually an event in JavaScript terms. So being the opposite of focus, um, focus when talking about a form. So if we hop over to our page here, uh, here in the site settings this is where we're going to implement this. When I click on one of these fields here, that is the focused event or the focus event. It is now in focus. But then when I click off of it onto something else, that is the blur event. So, so think of it as when you have clicked off of something. And that's what we have here. So when I say save on blur, what will happen is we can come in here and change this field here. And the moment I tab over or click somewhere else, whatever, it's going to go ahead and save that. No page refresh necessary. It's using Ajax. Um, so it becomes pretty cool, now, especially in, let's say, for instance, a table, a big table of data. Being able to kind of just quickly hop into the table, click on, click on a cell, and edit it kind of like in uh, like you would in Excel or a spreadsheet program. That's pretty cool. It, it comes in really handy. And the way I have built it, it's very, very simple to implement once we've got it in here. So that's what we're going to go ahead and work on. And then, like I said, we'll be able to use this pretty much across the site. Uh, I mean, we can put it on anything we want, even over here on the users. We can get rid of this whole save button deal and basically edit things on the fly if we want to. So anyway, it's pretty cool. And let's get started on it.